the pay for performance. Now, in life, that's different, obviously. You know, you don't get paid for being nice to your spouse or whatever, but, well, it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> I'm really more and more finding that these five key principles that are all science-based, because you know how I always say things that aren't science-based and I always qualify it like, hey, this is not evidence-based, but these five principles, I'm finding that they're really working in every facet of my life and with my personal life and the business. Pierre and I keep running through that exercise on, on different things and we find that we can isolate something instead of blaming people for things, you know, and instead of just blaming their behaviors and the people, we can just take these five things and, and apply them. And again, it's a repeat for a lot of you, but number one, let's just pinpoint and isolate what is the biggest problem. <laughs> so I mean, that's not rocket science, but like what's the biggest problem? And then what's one action that can be taken that would have the biggest impact on that problem? Like what's the one action? And we're, we often narrow it down to like just one thing everyone can do at scale. Like how can the whole department all work together and it's just like one action. Then secondly, the, the goal setting part. Again, I'm, I'm realizing that all of us just, you know, it's hard to mobilize people and do anything without a clear goal. So what, what we're talking about today is we're, we're talking about taking these, these goals and then shifting them to work outputs that we measure. The goal setting in itself is such a huge influence. In other words, the goal is, you know, is an antecedent or an SD. If you're used to hitting your goals, then it's an SD. If not, it might be an S delta. But that goal is so, so important as an influencer. It's an antecedent. Pinpointing, goal setting, and then the self-monitoring. Anytime you're running through, through a problem with one of the, the folks that you're coaching, find that one behavior they can do and have them self-monitor it and have them text you like some action that they're taking each day. I, I found that if you just start removing excuses and taking one variable at a time, like unpeeling an onion, and then come down to the one action that you've pinpointed and then have them self-monitor it. But the key to the self-monitoring is to report out. So knowing that they have to report it out to someone, anyone. Well, it should be you if you're the mentor, but they, they, they self-monitor and just text you. And again, it's not sustainable forever, but maybe for the, just two weeks, then later it's intermittently, but you get them in the habit of self-monitoring that one thing that'll have the biggest impact. And then they text it to you. And then you're like, got it. But then you set an alarm on your phone that realizing that if you didn't get it by a certain time that you, you prompt them. And then if, if you don't see that you can decrease prompts then you have a problem. So pinpointing, goal setting, self-monitoring with report out and then reciprocal feedback. It seems like oh, that's not rocket science. Again, I'm not saying anything that isn't what you already know, but it's just that reciprocal feedback going on between that. And then finally the pay for performance. Now in life, that's different, obviously, you know, you don't get paid for being nice to your spouse or whatever, but well, it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how, it does depend on how you look at it. So, you know, making sure that they're skin in the game for somebody because it's just so important to figure out that fifth thing. But those five things I just keep seeing, I just keep looking at a problem and detaching the person from it and not being angry with them, you know, and not being angry at their behavioral history. And, and then just, approaching it that way and every single time I learn something I'm not saying all five are always successful but it helps me laser in and pinpoint and sometimes I'm way off target.